For Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez. Young Boy Never Broke Again is one of rap's biggest stars, but his career has been riddled with legal issues since his breakout year in 2015. On March 22nd, Young Boy, whose legal name is Control Galden, was arrested by the FBI and LAPD due to an outstanding warrant. As previously suspected by fans, the warrant stemmed from an incident in September 2020, in which 16 individuals were arrested in Baton Rouge on multiple weapons and drug charges. Much of the 21-year-old's legal trouble began in 2016, when he was involved in a Louisiana shooting. For the last six years, NBA has been arrested on attempted murder, aggravated assault, domestic violence, and weapons and gun possession charges. Some of these cases have been resolved, while others are still ongoing. To help us wrap our minds around his legal troubles, we've created a timeline. Here's everything you need to know. 2016. In 2016, a young boy caught a ton of attention for a single 38 baby and had already been bubbling for his mixtape Life Before Fame the year prior. NBA was taken into custody after cops raided one of his shows in Austin, Texas. He was arrested in connection to a series of shootings in a Louisiana neighborhood and charged with two counts of attempted murder. He was accused of firing a gun during a drive-by shooting multiple times on November 2nd. WAFB9 reported that Galden was one of three passengers in the vehicle along with the driver. During the incident, a passenger was shot in the neck. Young boy was arrested on an out-of-state warrant in Austin, Texas. He was then extradited to Baton Rouge and held on a $200,000 bond. While he was in jail, he told Double XL, I don't think they really target, but if you got a name, they know who you is. You do something, they're gonna come get you. And whoever you're with and whatever they do, you're accountable for it just because you got the biggest name. That's how that go. He released Win or Lose and Don't Matter during his 2016 jail stay. He was released in 2017 and later received three years probation after pleading guilty to a lesser charge. 2018. In early 2018, Youngboy was enjoying the success of his singles No Smoke and Outside Today, which were charting on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. On February 24th, the rapper was arrested right before stepping on the stage at a Tallahassee concert. The arrest was over a Georgia warrant for an alleged weapons violations, committing assault, and kidnapping. The charges allegedly stem from an altercation with his girlfriend, 18-year-old Jania Jackson. Leaked footage following his arrest showed him assaulting Jania. After the footage was leaked, Jania denied the charges via social media, stating, Kidnapped? No. Has he ever put his hands on me? No. He was released from prison a month later on $75,000 bail. He later took a plea deal for the assault and the kidnapping case. According to TMZ, he was sentenced to 12 months probation, fined $1,500, court ordered to attend anger management, and to have no violent contact with Jania. 2019. In May of 2019, one month after releasing his video for Free Dog, Young Boy was involved in a shooting in Miami. The rapper was shot at in a quote, hail of bullets outside of the Trump International Beach Resort in Florida. Young Boy was not injured. However, the shooting resulted in the death of a male bystander. Five days later, he was taken back to custody in Louisiana for violating his parole because of his use of social media and had to do a three month stretch. In December, a judge terminated Young Boy's probation for Young Boy's two counts of attempted murder. 2020. The I Ain't Scared rapper was arrested again in September 2020 for drug and firearm charges. According to WBRZ, Young Boy and 15 other individuals were arrested at an abandoned property in East Baton Rouge while filming a music video. The involved were identified as members of two gangs, Never Broke Again and Bottom Boy Gorillas. Officers were given permission to search three of the seven vehicles on the scene. Authorities found three grams of marijuana and one dose of hydrocodone. Once a judge signed a warrant, the remaining vehicles were searched and officers found several handguns and rifles, including an AK-47. Seven firearms were also discovered in the grass nearby. One of these firearms was reportedly stolen from Texas. Additionally, authorities found Xanax scales, and packaging used for the sale of marijuana. NBA was also carrying more than $47,000 in cash, according to BRPD. A representative for Young Boy stated, it is important to remember that when someone is arrested for a crime, it does not mean they are guilty of anything. Control Galden is innocent of the crimes he was arrested for yesterday evening. He did not possess any firearms, nor did he possess any controlled dangerous substances. Law enforcement arrived on scene without any evidence of a crime occurring and immediately detained 15 
to 20 young black men solely based on an alleged tip that firearms were present on the scene. We still have the Second Amendment in the United States. Mr. Galden is innocent of the charges he was booked on last night and looks forward to defending himself as such. While this case was underway, the Louisiana rapper was also being investigated for beating a man in October 2020 at a Texas studio. 2021. On March 22nd of this year, the LAPD and FBI arrested young boy due to an outstanding federal warrant in connection to the September 2020 incident. Officers saw his car and attempted to pull him over. The rapper exited the vehicle and fled the scene on foot. A canine unit was dispatched and a police perimeter was set to prevent young boy from getting too far. The FBI found the rapper and took him into custody. TMZ reports that officers discovered firearms in young boy's vehicle. Mohamed Ganga, a New York-based attorney who covers high-profile cases, explained Young Boy's $450,000 bail via Instagram. The bond for Young Boy out of California is a $540,000 bond. He put up a half a million in cash. In addition, he put up as collateral two properties worth in excess of $1.5 million, and he has to wear an ankle monitor. However, he's not going to be on house arrest. According to the bond set by the California judge, he simply has to wear the ankle monitor but is otherwise free to travel. At the time of this recording, young boy is still in custody. He's expected to post the $450,000 bond, but will only be able to do so if the Louisiana judge approves. For more stories like this, subscribe to Complex News on YouTube and Instagram. For Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez.